From his glory, all the way to the cross. This is what he did for my soul. Without any regret, he came. Shalom and welcome to Video Tabernacle. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, this is a special edition of the Voice of Many Waters. And today, we are speaking on this great topic the sports and the message of the hour uh, as the uh, actual occurrence to be uh, the World Cup 2014 uh, football. And we have our pastor, Brother Alpha. Titika, who's the pastor of the White Rock Tabernacle here in Milton Keynes, to speak about what this, the, the message and the prophet says about this great subject of sports and football. Uh, God bless you, Pastor Alpha. God bless you, Brother Jill. I want to thank you for uh, taking this invitation to speak to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, generally speaking, do you like sport? Well, um, speaking about sports, Sports is a very big word. When you ask me, I like sports, naturally, any man will like sports, but not the competition. All right, uh, so what kind of sport do you like? Well, um, I have to explain this, you know. Uh, running is a sport. Going to the gym is a sport. Going hunting is a sport. Fishing is a sport. You see, which is a bit different to football and baseball and basketball. But when it, when it comes out, it comes out with, uh, 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 that you have to go to a competition, then I disagree with it. Because I have so many quotations where Brother Barnum speaks about it. All right. Speaking of competition, do you know that the prophet took uh, uh, took part into a competition <coughs> of hunting and of well, fishing as well? Uh, from that preaching, the Elijah and the Elijah, where Barabanam was talking about it, you see, Barabanam as a human being, he has a sense of uh, humor, you know. <coughs> Barabanam can. Uh, <coughs> They can go hunting and they will make some competition with brothers. But when it comes out to the price, the prophet never agree with it. Now I'll give you an example. There's a quotation somewhere where they went fishing. People were doing the competition. They all the fishermen. Barbanum was there, so he was also fishing. Then he had the biggest fish among all those fishermen. And he took his fish and put it in his suitcase. And then he actually, uh, 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 he actually kept it secret. And the, the other man, the second man was jumping. He said, oh, I had the biggest fish. I had the biggest fish. And then the man was saying, who has the biggest fish? He said, it's you. So you are the number one. But Abanam called, I think, Brother Wood, one of the brother. He opened the suitcase. The brother saw a very big fish. He said, but why don't you tell them you are the winner? But Abraham said, no, I can never do that. He said, anything that will give me glory, I am against it. I like the glory to go to the Lord. I am not behind those competitions. So this is uh, one of the answers. So, and What I want to say, speaking of uh, the, the only extreme that Brother Branham took in regards to sports. Mm -hmm. Brother Branham says this in this quotation, the signs of this coming. He says in paragraph E13, he says, and they were fighting, he's speaking of, of boxing, they were fighting the third out and one killed the other. So another third, both in the same, when athletics and sport gets to that, 
it's time to leave them alone. Now, Brother Branham is explaining that in these sports, one of them killed his other. And when sports get to that, it's time to leave them alone. But when we talk about football, for example, in this subject, uh, there is nothing like killing one another. I will tell you one thing. What Branham said in the life story here, yeah, the prophet was speaking how he was a boxer. Uh, but one of them said, you see, I did that, but I have forsaken it, paragraph 17, I believe. I have forsaken it for the sake of Christ. And now we must be careful in when we are reading the word of God. The prophet gives so many examples of the spots in the message, like the message absolute. But Barnum, if you read Absolute, you find out he spoke so much about football. He gave the example, when a player plays, he does not keep the balloon for himself, he has to give it to someone else. So Barabana was giving the example, but it does not mean that the prophet was supporting it. You see, he gave the example of the boxer, the red, uh, the red flash, uh, flashing of his coming, but Abraham said, you see, like boxers, they can play, fight for, uh, uh, they used to fight for 100 rounds, but now it's, it has been reduced for 12 rounds because the humankind is dying. Yeah, you see, he's, he will give example. It's like Paul in the Bible spoke about the race. So you see, but that does not mean but Abraham supports the sport in the side of competition. I am not against of someone who's doing his own sport for his uh, health. Some people, they go to gym for the health because they want to lose weight. Some people, they run because they want to lose weight. Or the doctor told them to do that. I don't have uh, anything against that. But when it comes out that you have to go to the competition for a price, then it touches the word of God. The prophet was against it. Now, um, uh, I, I have a few, I don't know if you have another question before I can... Okay, if you refuse the competition, so mm -hmm. that means you at least agree that your church and Brother Jean-Pierre's church can organize the brethren and play football. No, I do not believe that. Because there is no price. I do not believe in organizing those kind of... Uh, a sport ac activity about churches. I, I believe if the youth can have activities, young people can go and play football, maybe for uh, just in activities, but I do not believe that we must attend the level of organizing. And you see, that touches, because Barbanam said, everything that you do there is there must be an objective and there is a spirit behind it churches when we go and organize a convention there is a motive is to worship god now if we start organizing football uh, matches what is the motive behind it and also the prophet added anything you do that cannot give glory to god is not from god is not for you, believer, to take it. So these are the things that I can say. So what, when you say young people can go and organize and play football, no, what do you, you mentioned about young people. No, 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 not. Uh, I'm careful in what I'm saying. Not organizing. Let, let me make, put that clear. They can go and spend time and play football. They can with their play friends. in the field. They can play. That's not a problem. Or Sunday school, young people can play football. They can play. Church. I don't have uh, uh, nothing against that because they are kids. And also, they when it comes out, no, we have to organize a football. Uh, what do you call it? Championship and something like that. I disagree with that because Barabanam was a. a, 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 a also disagree with those things. I have quotations. I can always, if you give me opportunity to read some quotations, I can read that. Okay. Now, regarding the football, where can we classify the football in the Bible? Second Timothy 3. That's where Barabanam classified the football. 
I'll read the Bible, I'll read also the quotation. Uh, in this, this is Bible 2 uh, Timothy 3 from 1. This know also that in the last day, perils, times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, uh, 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 boasters, proud and blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, uh, false accuser, uh, incontinent, uh, uh, despiser of the, that are good, traitors, heady minded, lovers of pleasure more than lover of God having a form of godliness but denying the power there from such a turn away. Now, in this, uh, I'll just read it. Please, brother, let me read this. In the same in Christ, which we all know Christ means an anointing, preaching uh, the 21st of uh, February, 1955. But Abanam came out of the meeting. And Billy Paul said, Daddy, I'm starving. But Abanam said, We had a great service. And God performed miracles. A lot of sick people were healed. That's the paragraph 9. Of people gathering and the Lord walking, saving people. He was making the sick well, just how Lord does it uh, uh, in His mercy. And Brabanum goes down because of the time. I will just go. He said, but after, the se after service, I hadn't eaten since that morning. So Billy said, Daddy, let's go and get something to eat. Said, I am about to starve too. So we went into a little restaurant and they had a ball game. Whenever you see Brabanum speaks about the ball game, it means football. Because uh, I find out in the message, wherever Barabanam sees, some of the places Barabanam spoke about the ball game, brothers uh, in the voice of God, the translator, put aside football. In that day, uh, we know football started in 1888. And the first game, a, a, a team was here in England. Then we know that. But Barabanam used to call it a ball game. He said, when we reached that small restaurant, there was a lot of teenagers. He said it was in a wood river in Illinois. Uh, 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 I would just come out of the service. He said, as they were there following the ball game. This is the prophet. Let me just get where I was speaking. I don't want to say something. But Abraham didn't say it. Yeah. He said, so we went into a little restaurant and they had a ball game was something going on in the city. So there was a championship in the city. We was over in Granite City where we were staying. And so they, all the little teenagers was in there a little bit watching that football. As they were watching the football, they were screaming and dancing around and running around. You see, he, he corrected himself, not dancing, but run around, but watching the football. There's nothing wrong to run around. He corrected it. He said, not dancing, but running around. They had all those, speak, you see, they had those here, uh, squeak boxes over here in corner. You know, with all that they were going on, I just had to eat in a place where that kind of stuff is going on. Pastor Alpha, please. Uh, uh, sorry, let me just finish this, uh, Brother Chief. He said, I had to eat in those places where those kind of things is going on, watching football. He said, but I have a teenager, Brother Barham said here, uh, uh, Billy, of course, is just an adolescent. I don't want Billy to be around. So, the, this the, is the prophet. The quotation that you have read, it seems to mm. my understanding that Brother Branham is on to the atmosphere around in the restaurant, people running, people watching. But in the quotation of Elijah and Elisha that you read, Brother Branham says, I have nothing against arenas and sports. 
when it's clean, it's a very fine thing. Then we have to find out when Barabam said what is clean, what what is clean. Yeah, when when the clean. arena of the stop is but when the spot is clean, I have an answer. Fine thing. In the second coming of the Lord, preach on the 17th of April, 1957, paragraph 2. This is to fulfill a promise that I made 11 years ago. A long time getting around to it, but to return back to the tabernacle for a revival. And now we know that our little tabernacle is insufficient in the room for a revival. But we will just jump in here and the best we can for the next few nights for the glory of God. Now listen careful, Brother Jean. And I love to have a meeting in the church. Many places we have them in stadium. He carries on. And out in the outdoor, in the arenas, but there is something different when you have it in, in the church. There seems to be that is a sweeter, closer fellowship when you are in the church. Out in those arenas, sport arenas, worldly places, we are grateful for the privilege of being out there but it seems like you find a oppression like a demon power stadium arenas that you have to break through before the revival ever starts and then when you come into the church it's a place where god dwells it's coming to his house to have a meeting but abanam said Having a meeting in the spot arenas, there is the oppression of demon powers. He tells you with the true discernment of the Spirit how a brother can go in those places. No. Outside of the motive of going to worship, going there and watch football. When Barabanam said there is the oppression of demon's power in those places, those spot arenas. So he tells you behind those spots there is a spirit so now brother Branham seems to say that when it's clean it's fine so what's dirty about football with speaking of football the world cup what's so dirty about it from this quotation that we just read it tells you they have to go and pray break those powers when those demon powers comes, because the stadium is a place where they play football, it could be a basketball, baseball, it's the way they play those sports. He, he even mentioned arena sport. He said, we have to break the power of those demons before we can have a revival, before we can start praying. He tells you, footballs, all those kind of uh, 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 sports, is not for God. I'll tell you one thing. The prophet said, anything that cannot give glory to God is not from God. And if I have to add one thing, Brother Jill, in uh, Cambodia, I think in Asia, somewhere, Cambodia, there is a, a city over there, a small town. We have a player here they call uh, David Baker. They made his statute. They place it there. And that city, I'm not talking about a small village, it's, it's quite a town. They all go and worship David Beckham. He has become the God. Now, my brother, I want to tell you something. If you follow the life of all those football stars, somewhere down the line, you will see they are connected with the evil way of living and it tells you as the prophet said even where they go and play the football basketball baseball 
He said for them to go and have the meeting, they have to break demon's power. Pastor Alpha, the World Cup has started. Which team do you support? I don't have a team to support. Which team do you wish to win the World Cup? Barnabanam said in an old ball, he said as they are going there to the football to support teams, we are the supporter of Christ. I do not believe that a brother, a born again, I do not make this a doctrine. This is from my point of view. This is what I see from the word. We'll have a team or a player that he supports. He tells you, if you are going in that direction, then you become a fan because they call them fan. And the prophet said in the old bow, as believers, we are only the fan of Jesus Christ. So you see, that's why, uh, if that pers uh, question is for me personally, I do not believe that, on that. I cannot advise someone to do that. Uh, I do not have a particular team or a team that I support, even if I have to go to from the extent, even the country that I came from, Congo, I don't even know if they are playing football today or tomorrow. I don't know about anything about those football. Would you have someone you know in your church, someone uh, who works as a medical assistant for a team, a football team? Uh, it's the same as those brothers, they came to Barabanam and asked him a question. Barabanam, we are working in those uh, cigarette manufacturers company. They don't smoke. They will not attempt to smoke. But the prophet said, you cannot. Anything that you know is not right. You don't have to go. No, they are not playing, but they are just assisting those yes, people. Yes, it's the same. Those brothers were not smoking cigarettes. They were not giving advert. Uh, they were just, they were manufacturing. They were working in the, in the warehouse. Just working, just working. But inside the company of cigarettes, but Abanam said, because you are working in that secret tobacco company, it's better for you not to work. It's the same. Professionally, by professional, I'm a chef by profession. But wherever I used to go and find a job, I would tell the agency, please don't send me in the pub. It doesn't mean if I go to the pub, I'll drink. Yes, we'll come back again in what the prophet was saying here. Is the atmosphere. He said, wherever you find the atmosphere is not right. Atmosphere. But Abraham said, there's no need of you staying there. You're going to come out quick as possible. So, uh, Pastor Alpha, the other, the other question mm. uh, that I wanted to ask, what about brethren who sit on their laptop, on their computer? and take some time and watch a competition. I will tell you one thing. If the place, I want us to consider this uh, quotation, the second coming of the Lord Jesus, is even a lot because I don't have much time. Now that quotation speaks about the arenas, but yeah. I'm talking about on their laptop, on their computer, mm -hmm. watching the game. Anything, what Abraham said, anything that you do, which is not, I'll give you another quotation here for the people that are watching. If you don't mind, it's here. I will just pull it up. Yes, the evangelism, uh, uh, the, the end time evangelism, paragraph one, two, three. Now, notice in those times, intellectual age. Heady minded the lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Staying home on Wednesday night, watching some old vulgar pre players, he starts mentioning what the people were watching. We love Susie, which we know is comedy in the days of Barbanam. Stuff like that. Women married a dozen times and living with men and living. Oh my, every one of them married, divorced, married, divorced. You make them idols like God. 
by watching. You will rather stay and watch that and uh, attend the prayer meetings. Lover, pleasure more than lover of God. And he stopped there. He said, he added, he said, watching. The ball, let a ball game, let a ball game come in the town, like a World Cup. The colonel and the giants, I don't know, it's one of the name of the team on that day. Ever what it happened to meet out here somewhere, they closed the churches. Many people will be running down to watch it. And listen to what the prophet said here. He said, instead of them praying or going for a prayer meeting, you see, they love pleasure more than the love of God. He added, 2 Timothy, a I minded continent despise uh, fears and despise so this is not going and play this is being consecrated in watching but Barnum said instead of committing that time for a prayer or you have sight video tabernacle you have uh, uh, what's I again gospel, gospel cross, cross. You put the tapes, you put video, preaching, sermons. If I can spend half 45 minutes watching a football game, hey, hey, when I could be reading or listening to a whole sermon, but Abraham said, when I'm watching that, who am I giving glory to? The players. Maybe our national team is playing. He said, no. The prophet said, old bow. People can read that. People that will follow this video, go and read the old bow. He said, they are fans of those football teams, but we remain fans of Jesus Christ. So someone who watches the game, takes the time to watch the game, is not a born again as far as you're concerned. I won't judge it that way. I'm always careful in everything I said. It's like television. Before I can answer that question, I, I believe I, I, st I have some few, uh, maybe a few minutes. Now, but Abraham said in God transformed, uh, uh, the, uh, God's power to transform. The prophet said 67% of uh, uh, those uh, children here in Arizona suffering with mental de uh, deficiency, disease, he said it's by looking television. But you come down in the uncertain sound, paragraph 30, the prophet said, he goes back to 2 Timothy 3, the day will come, he said, the Bible said that here in 2 Timothy 3, 7, that the day will come, it said that they would be headed-minded uh, lovers of pleasure more than the love of God. Lovers of God. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Now, that is right. Television has come into the home and all the people away from prayer meeting. It's got an attraction. It's, it is, it's, that is attractive and beautiful. And I don't say that some of the programs is in all right. This is the prophet. There is a lot of fit that isn't a lot. We know that, but I don't. I don't, uh, shaking the hand up and down, up to, yes, 99% of its television program isn't all right. But say, there will be 1% of it. Well, what you get in that 1%, would you mean to give up that 1% for the Church of the Living God? where it's 100% right, stay away on Wednesday night from a prayer meeting. You see, I cannot judge a person by that. I cannot say, let's say this, for me, I believe he's doing something wrong. But I cannot say he's not born again or he, does not, uh, he doesn't have the Holy Spirit because the prophet said, you can have a genuine baptism of uh, the Holy Ghost and make a mistake. It depends on what kind of mistake. You can make a mistake and make it right later. But I believe if I have to give advice, 
to my uh, people that will be following this. I do not believe that a child of God filled with the Holy Ghost must stay there watching those, but Abraham said, call it vulgar players. If we have to add one thing, the prophet was against of shorts. Men wearing shorts. So that means somebody can play golf? No, I'm not saying that because when it comes out to a competition, it's still wrong. I will stay on that. But Abraham said, those American soldiers who match, oh, God help us. We don't want our wife to see them in short matching. Look at this. And he called this is the underneath of the woman. Now, you go on that to clarify it and to finish by conclusion. I do not believe anything that goes to a competition that gives glory to those players and their team, which I mean because God is not there, it gives glory to Satan is right for the children of God to watch it. Anyway, just one last question. Can I take a job of a TV presenter? It depends what are you going to do on the TV. The prophet said the church and its condition. Cigarette companies are making money by giving advice, uh, uh, advertisement in the TV, on the TV. But this gospel, Barbanam said, will not have success on the TV. There's another answer. So this is what uh, I believe I answer all your questions. Anyway, we want to thank you for your time. Uh, we appreciate you, uh, you talking you. to us today. Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to thank our precious brother Joseph now who has been behind the camera. We spoke today with Pastor Alpha of the White Rock Tabernacle here in England, Milton Keynes. We spoke on the sports and the message in the occurrence of the uh, World Cup 2014. And that was me. Until next time, God bless you and bye-bye. Thank you. From his glory all the way to the cross This is what he did for my soul Without any regret He came to bear my shame With full determination Yes, I know.